for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymaddencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video. And today, I'm going over today's house rules that just came out, going over the rewards, my tips, and my guide to complete this. Now, guys, thank you for all the support that I'm still getting at this later time of the year. I really appreciate it from all you guys. Obviously, it is what it is, but I still appreciate it for all of you guys who still come out, even those who probably don't even play Madden anymore and they're still showing some support. So, guys, if you're still watching right now, drop a like for me. Do me a solid. Let's get this video to 50 likes if we can. Hopefully, maybe 25, depending, but either or I'll be happy with. If you guys are new, drop a sub. You won't regret it when Madden 20 comes out. And just comment down below. Keep in touch. Even if you don't really care for Madden anymore, just keep in touch. Keeps me busy. I like reading comments. Now, guys, for this week's house rules, I have not seen it yet. This is all surprises to me. I truthfully have no idea what to expect for this week. But it looks like it's going to be a rushing touchdown. So, first things first, let's go to... I always click into it. I don't need to. So house rules, our rules, no, our house, our rules. So break free. You'll need to break free if you want to score big this week. Rushing for a 20-yard touchdown will net you 12 points. Rushing for a 40-yard touchdown will earn you a whopping 18. You better run fast and quick too. There's only three-minute quarters. So I like that. First off, I like that there's three-minute quarters. It means they're going to be shorter games. Now, it is, looks like it is going to be. 10 wins this week which kind of sucks we thought we were trending towards a shorter style of drought house rules like more of a eight games maybe even potentially eventually six games again but it looks like we're back at 10 now this week should be easy it kind of it's gonna have the feel of a regular madden nfl game if you think about it rushing for 20 yard touchdowns will net you 12 points rushing for 40 yard plus touchdowns will earn you 18 it's gonna play similar it's gonna play similar except for there might be some people who are only trying to break the run which is simple so this week, I'd sit in a in an average, like a hybrid show, like a, oh, me personally. I like to run things out of the nickel. I believe it's called a 5-3-3, three, three, could be wrong. 3-3-5. Three, three, I don't know, but that's just, what I'm, that's just what I run, obviously. It changes for you guys, but I would sit in a hybrid show, something that kind of covers the run and the pass. I wouldn't commit to the run, because if you commit to the run, someone like me is going to come out and pass on you. So exactly, that's the exact advice I'm going to give you guys. If someone comes out in a heavy front, looking to blitz or run command, stop the run, just start pass. Don't even run the ball. I'd rather take five passing touchdowns and hope for one rushing. It won't even add up. Now, if someone comes out in a, in, a, in a pass heavy and they don't even care and they're trying to get through the game, simply just run the ball. But obviously, I would. the way I'd play this is I wouldn't go for the touchdowns, the rushing touchdowns. I'd go for passing touchdowns, and if a rushing touchdown happens to happen, that's cool, but I usually don't play to I usually don't play to the rules of this week just because I and you end up hurting yourself focusing only on the rules of this week. Now, 40 year touchdown is 80, 18 points. That's practically three touchdowns. That is pretty cool. So I mean, if you're behind the, I, I would definitely throw a few runs in there. Behind the, if I'm behind the 40, I would throw a few runs. I would always I would I would try, try a few runs. And it looks like there's four downs, so you, it's not like you have to like. You know, it's, it's still one first and ten. It's still four down, so it's still doable. Play like it's gonna play like a regular week. Play regular offense if it happens. If it happens, if it doesn't, it doesn't. So, like I said, if they're if they're gonna play run heavy, you pass. If they're playing pass heavy, you run. If they're playing somewhere in between, play regular offense. Somewhere in between, like it doesn't. If it plays like a regular game, you play like a regular game. Now, defensively, like I said, stick in a hybrid defense. Definitely do not commit to anything. Do not commit to the run because any good user is gonna pass the ball. Now, remember, guys. The way these are set up is 10 total wins. You don't have to win them consecutively. So sadly, it's not going to be as competitive and it will be a very easy quit week. Now, again, it's not too sad that it's not going to be competitive only because I understand a lot of people shouldn't be penalized for not being that good. They should still have a chance with some rewards. Like just because so if you're not good at the game, it shouldn't be that you have to buy to win. You should still be able to get a reward like this. But it does make it boring for some people who are on the better side who like competitive Madden at this point or have better teams. So for me, it's not too enticing, but the, the reward is really cool. The NFL draft collectible is definitely really cool because I like it because it gives me a chance. Other weeks, you're guaranteed a 97 overall. You know what you're going to get. Maybe you don't even need the players. kind of boring. This is cool. You can have a 99 overall or you can get a 95 overall. You are, you are not guaranteed anything. It's almost like a lottery ticket. It's like giving someone a lottery ticket and saying you're either going to win $1 or $5. Obviously, a lot more. Let's say $500 to $1,000. 
So that's cool. You could win a lot of good. It's not like guaranteed. I kind of like that. It adds a chance. The chance element alone is cool to me. It's today like drawing out of a out of a out of a hat and just seeing what you get. A thousand dollars and no money. It's kind of cool. I like that. You can get Kyler Murray, Daniel Jones. I keep saying Daniel Jones. Don't take me seriously. Dwayne Haskins, Josh Allen, Quinnen Williams, Nick Bosa, Devin White, Devin Bush. I hope his name is Devin Bush. I didn't botch that. But there is a lot of potential for this. Now, as per usual, the rewards are still nice. Besides that, if you win six games, you get 40,000 coins and 20 trophies. So if you could get two sets of six and you win consecutively and you're competitive and you're good at this game, that's 80,000 coins, 40 trophies, which is almost half of John Madden. You could do a lot of damage into a trophy set with just two of these. Plus, you get the player. And I believe they're even auctionable, is what I heard. So that's awesome. You get any card, you could probably get at least 150K on these. Yeah, about 150k all the way up to even 350k for Kyler Murray just about. So still, still very, very useful in my opinion. I don't know if I'll be doing these because obviously the way my team is constructed, there's almost not one. I don't think there's one player that could start on my team here realistically. So for me, it just hasn't been usable, but these are auctionable. So these might be usable for a lot more people than usual. These could be a fun way to switch it up and you can sell it. So that's pretty cool. When they're not, it kind of sucks only because if you don't, if your team's too good for it, you won't be able to use it, but these are not not. So fortunately for everyone, you will be able to sell them. Now, like I said, this will play very regularly this week. It will not be anything out of the ordinary. So the average or competitive, it doesn't matter if you're average or competitive. This is an even playing field as per usual. It all comes down to who's pretty much better. Obviously, there's some luck involved with you might get 100 broken tackles at Ricky Williams. You might break some extra runs. A lot of things could go wrong. A lot of things could go right. So obviously, you might lose. You might win. But again, implement the quit method like I always say. The quit method pretty much is, is that since you guys don't have to win these consecutively, I like to join it. If I'm you guys and you guys don't want to waste time, I get it. I join a game. If it looks competitive, I just quit. Because if you finish 10 games, if you play 10 games full all the way through that could equal almost five hours of gameplay but if you use a quit method it could only equal about an hour and a half two hours think about it this way you join a game you score right off the bat you pick them off they probably quit people this house rules has very low patience people do not stay in these games at all they are not motivated to play these games full games these are not people don't play these to play the game they play these to get a reward so they don't want to delay the reward any more than it's already being delayed so typically i get into a game they pick me off just quit you get into a game, it looks like a defensive battle. You guys are going to go down to the fourth quarter and you still might lose. I'm not waiting 40 minutes for a chance of still losing. So if I was you guys and you're not too good at the game, just keep joining so you get someone you could beat. Or if you're really good at the game, you don't have to worry about it because you could beat most people. So if you're really good at the game, I would just join the game. If it looks like it's going to be competitive, even if you think you could win, just leave. Try to force a quit. If you can't force a quit, leave because why waste your time and everyone else's time? People will probably appreciate the leave, the quit on your end. And other people might even other people might even quit themselves because again they don't want to wait all that time so personally i think that i don't usually advocate for quitting like i always say I'm not really quit i like to finish these games out i'm not one to just rage quit right away but in this case everyone's here for the rewards no one is here for the gameplay for to be completely like to be completely honest no one's here even for the madden gameplay at this point of the year anyways so just enjoy it's only three minute quarters also which definitely helps in case you do want to stay in the games three minute quarters isn't bad that means it's 12 minutes 12 minutes total Plus timeouts and pause. It'll probably be like a 22 minute game, 25 minute game every time. Still pretty long, but if you played every game out, you could probably finish about two to three games an hour. And then you, you know, you times that by three, just about take you about three to five hours, somewhere between there. Still takes a while, but if you enjoy, you know, do you, but if you do win them consecutively, you do get the coins. So if you're competitive and you're really just looking to get a change of pace this week, I would do it in a row. I mean, if you really want the 80,000 coins and the trophies, obviously the people who probably don't need it the people who are who have their teams already probably won't even care for it. the people that need the coins probably don't have the team to compete for it so it's kind of controversial in that sense so that's what it gets for this video i hope you guys have been enjoying the content i'm trying to push out for you guys right now it's really tough at this point of the year but i'm still trying my best and um hopefully we can keep this grind out all the way towards madden nfl 20 because that is the end game right that is the goal we want to get to madden 20 i am so hyped for madden 20 you guys have no idea i cannot wait for that game to come out hopefully you know you guys are still around and a lot of you old guys start coming back i feel like it's going to be a big parade back hopefully all my subs start coming back slowly as the year winds down and closer to the football season obviously the football season hypes everyone up so i know you guys will all be back by then hopefully that's what it guys thank you so much for watching as of late i appreciate all you still come out on a daily basis to 
enjoy my content and just show some support. So if you guys are still around, drop the like. Let's get this to this 50 likes. If you're new and you're still here, drop the sub. You already wasted your time. You've been here long enough and you won't regret it. Stay come Madden 20. And make sure to comment down below and just talk. Show some support. Remind me who you guys are. Keep talking. I know all the real ones are always in the comments, so I won't forget you guys. Even though you guys will be my last few people coming into Madden 20. So that's about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. I'm out.